Hi guy here. I'm going to show you how to install a piece of software called R. I mean uh, QTC SDR for your uh, Raspberry Pi. Now this will allow you to receive and transmit, but we're just going to more focus on the uh, receive side. We may get into the transmit side. But this is like an SDR, SDR Sharp type software to receive uh, frequencies on AM, FM, and WFM, and so on. So <clears throat> I have my uh, RTL plugged into my Raspberry Pi 4 here. So we're just going to do an update, and everything is up to date. So now. We can just copy the command here, paste, and we need to install some dependencies here <clears throat> in order to make this work. Uh, so we'll let that install, and I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this information. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long here on the Pi 4. <clears throat> so we just need to uh, clone the directory here for the uh, QTC SDR software. And uh, back here in the background, I'm VNC'd into the Pi to... Uh, be able to show the program running here so <clears throat> all right so we're about installed here so now we just need to clone the directory And we'll just clear that so we can CD into it here. Then we just need to do an RPA install. Now it'll come up and ask you if you want to install this. We'll say Y for yes. Now it's probably not going to install too much because we went ahead and installed mostly all the, the uh, dependencies that it may need so <clears throat> so now it's going to uh, ask us a couple of questions if we want to install or not so this is the software here on top of the QTC SDR that will allow you to transmit so if you want this you can say yes, if not, just hit no. So we'll go ahead and install. And you can do other things also with that uh, software. It's a nice little piece of software. So we'll just say yes. <clears throat> and I think it's going to ask us one more time if we want to install. So we'll just say yes on that. Now I think there's another piece of software that it will ask us if we want to uh, install it or not. And that's up to you. <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and do so. So after this command... The next command is the last one that we need to do in order to uh, have this uh, set up. So once this gets done here, All right, so now do you want to install the latest of the uh, CSDR? So we're just going to say yes. <clears throat> and 
and we'll just let that do its thing. Now we need to install the RTL SDR software, so that's a definite. So we'll say yes. And if you're running the Pi 4, it probably shouldn't take too long to build this. So. <clears throat> I'm back. I just stopped my video here and started it again. So now it asked if we want to uh, blacklist the uh, kernel here. So we're just going to say yes. All right, so now we need to run the following command here. So we're just going to go ahead and do that to see if everything's okay. Now it's going to ask us if we have a RTL SDR and a USB card adapter connected. I have an RTL one, but as of right now, I don't have a USB sound card in there. So we're just going to press any button to continue. And we're just going to get by this because I'm not really concerned about that right now. And we could just say yes for that just to get by. So now it says, great, we have it running. So what we can do is we could copy that command there. And let me pull up my terminal here. I mean my VNC. Let me shrink it down a little bit. Just fit it in the window. So we're just going to bring up a terminal and we're just going to run that command. So as you can see, here we are. We have the receive button that's working. We had the transmit button that's uh, highlighted. So <clears throat> we can go ahead and uh, fire this bad boy up. So, for example, we'll just let it on the default frequency of 28.4 megahertz. And we can just hit receive. Now, it's saying net cat, in cat not found, which we should have installed that. But let's go ahead and try it again. All right, I think I did install it on the... Uh, Never mind, that was in map, not in cat. So I'll add that to the uh, website there. So let's go ahead and run that again. And there we go. So as of right now, we have the program running. <clears throat> now, if you don't want to worry about the uh, transmit, we can, you can just run the following command there and we're up at the same thing we can hit receive so and there we go so you do have the two commands here you had the normal QTC SDR then we have <clears throat> the uh, other one here, right here. So, hopefully this helps out. Might take a little bit of getting used to. I have played the audio back through an older Pi coming out of the uh, audio uh, photo plug that's on the Pi. Now, I never tried to run this software coming out of the uh, HDMI, but it should work fine. You might have to go into the config and change it to uh, point the audio towards the HDMI on it. But uh, this should def definitely run really smooth on a Pi 4 with no problem, that's for sure. Especially the sample rate of 2, you know, 2.4. So, hopefully this helped out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another.